In this video, I'll guide you through building an industrial-grade chatbot using natural language processing, step-by-step, step, in Google Collab. We're not just slapping together a chatbot, we're building a system that's maintainable, modular, and suitable for real-world applications like customer support, virtual assistants, or internal automation tools. We'll use Hugging Faces Dialogue GPT model, Torch for computation, and Python best practices like logging and configuration management. Let's dive right in. A good software system starts with good configuration. We don't hard code values. Instead, we create a reusable, flexible configuration using Python's data class. These imports let us define structured config classes with default values. Here's the config block. We define the pre-trained model name, sampling strategies like top underscore K, top underscore P, and temperature, and a max underscore length for response generation. Log underscore file lets us store conversation history and errors, which is critical for debugging or audits in production. This separation of config from logic is what makes your chatbot maintainable and scalable. Now we encapsulate everything in an NLP chatbot class. This is the main engine that loads the model, handles user messages, generates replies, and manages logging. First, we detect whether the machine has a GPU. If it does, we offload computation to CUDA for a big performance boost. We load the tokenizer and the Dialogue GPT model using Hugging Face Transformers. The tokenizer splits your input into tokens, and the model generates a response based on those tokens. We create a logger that writes both to the console and to a file. This is vital in industry to diagnose bugs, analyze behavior, or trace issues reported by users. You'd be surprised how often logs save lives in production. This is the generate underscore response method, where all the intelligence lives. Let me break it down line by line. We append an end of sentence token to signal the model that the input is complete. Then we convert the text to PyTorch tensors. Dialogue GPT works better when you maintain dialogue history. We concatenate the new message to the existing history. If it's the first message, we just use the new input. This is where we call the model to generate a reply. Parameters like top underscore K, top underscore P, and temperature control randomness and diversity. Top K sampling keeps only the top K probable words. Top P limits selection to a cumulative probability. Temperature adjusts creativity, lower is more deterministic, higher is more random. We decode only the newly generated portion of the output tensor. This gives us just the bot's reply, not the entire conversation. Now let's talk about usability. We add the ability to reset the chat and handle user inputs cleanly. If the user types reset, we clear the dialogue history so the next message starts a new conversation. This loop keeps asking for user input and prints out the bot's response. We check for keywords like exit or reset and handle them accordingly. This modular design lets you eventually replace this loop with a web UI, a mobile app, or a REST API, with no changes to the core logic. In Collab, you run the final script block to instantiate the class and start chatting. This pattern is clean and professional. You define a config, pass it to the bot class, and call the chat method. If you want to deploy this, just replace bot.chat, with a Flask API call or a Telegram bot interface. In Collab, everything runs live, you type your message in the input box below the cell, and you'll see the bot reply instantly. You've now built a scalable, extensible chatbot system using NLP and Google Collab. It's modular, well-logged, and production-friendly. Want to go further? Add. Support for multiple users. A database to store sessions. A web interface with Flask or Streamlit. A REST API wrapper for deployment. If this helped you level up your AI skills, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.
more practical AI, NLP, and ML content is on the way. Until next time, keep coding smart.